Well, you need to get serious and get you a job. I'm looking, man. I circled a couple of here to help you out. Video music box once again in full effect, and it's a Jason's lyric special today. And uh, we don't often get a chance to get with this brother here, my brother Bo Kim, What's happening, who brother? told me he's from the Brooklyn side, and I didn't know that. Oh nah, brother, I'm uptown. Bob. Uptown? Yeah, I'm Harlem. Oh, you a Harlem oh, man? Yeah, Harlemite. All right, we're part of Harlem, man. Uh, so the folks up there can say, oh, yeah, oh yeah, see. Yeah. I remember Shorty when he used to be running around. Uh, <laughs> Nah, it's like, in, but let's just, I don't want to give the exact address, but let's say it's in between 110th and 116th. All right. You got my man Dougie Fresh, DJ Red Alert, all, right. all in the same neighborhood. All right, you know all what I'm right. saying? Little, uh, 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 I don't know. No, I was don't about say, to don't say, say the street. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. All right, well, good to see you, man. You too, man. What all right. Got? Let's talk about Jason's lyrics and, um, and your role in Jason's lyrics. Yeah, I play Joshua, and he's a manic depressive, alcoholic, gun toting ball-headed fool basically mm. and um he's got all types of emotional problems that stem from seeing the brutal murder of his father and um having to deal with living in such impoverished desperate conditions because we all know what the ghetto is like but in houston the actual landscape is hard on the eyes hard on the soul mm. because you got a whole bunch of one-story shacks and a whole bunch of just junkyard dogs, and it's just hot all the time. And he's very ambitious, and he's also frustrated, and he's an alcoholic, so that combination makes him volatile and violent. Mama, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mom, I made this for you. Stop it, now! I just, I just bought that sh Drug money. See, how you know I ain't get it the honest way? Huh? How you know that? Every time you come out, I pray it's gonna be different. But it's always the same. Always the same. Not the roast, Mom. I spent $25 on that roast. What are you doing? I spent $100 on that sh $100 to make you happy, Mama. Drug money. Drug money. I'll die. You hear me? I'll die for I feed my family with that money, and if you ever bring it in my house again, the doors will be locked. Now I see how a man could beat you. I knew Mad Dog's ghost was somewhere to be found, but I had no idea it was in my own house. And now, you know, we've seen you first, I guess, most people will probably know from the HBO special, Trap. Right. And now um, you're out here and you're doing your thing. You know, what's, what kind of roles do you want to do, man? What, what's, what are you looking to do? I want to do um, stories, historical uh, African-American stories. Mm -hmm. I want to do contemporary stories that have nothing to do with the hood. You know, I want to be in a suit and tie. I want to make people laugh. I want to be like, uh, you know, that, you know, like uh, Eddie was in Boomerang almost. You know? mm. I want to do a gig like that. Uh, Hollywood, the powers that be in Hollywood, they're not really ready or willing to give a young brother the mm. opportunity to do something that doesn't have to do with the pistol, you know. Mm. So uh, I have two choices. I can either pursue other venues of the arts, like my music. I'm in a rock and roll band, mm. two guitar band. Right. And I'm trying to get that off the ground because I'm not willing to wait until Hollywood is ready to give me a chance to do something other than shoot people or get shot at, you know what I'm so saying? So you're going to keep on moving. Because oh, I was yeah. going to ask you, you know, a lot of folks probably from your old neighborhood would like to know, how is it, man, when you go out there, man, you know, how is that, you know? Mm. I mean, what kind of things happen? I'm sure some strange stuff, because I don't like Hollywood. <laughs> but I'm sure some strange things out there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man, yo, people is a trip. Yeah. I mean, people is a trip. There's some things I like about it because um, it's like a lot more warmer. Mm. You know, uh, it's a lot more relaxed. Uh, there are places you can go out there where there's not even the slightest hint of getting shot at or something like that. Yeah. Those are the aspects I like about it. The things I miss so much and I love so much about New York is the honesty in the people, mm. hip hop rule in New York. Uh, the clubs, uh, just being able to walk down the street, not having to drive everywhere. Yeah. You know, just having your peeps around. It's a different type of communal vibe. Because mm. in L.A., they got a more communal vibe, but it's the type of thing, well, I'll drop by unannounced. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. So that's an English communal vibe. <laughs> to me, you know, in New York, you got to call before you come over. You must over. be bugging. You know, unless you're like my homie, 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 you got to call. <laughs> can't just show up at my door. So uh, that type of thing. I just like New York much better. And sometimes I wish the people from New York could be in L.A., mm. you know, so, like, I would still have the palm trees and uh, the girls without the attitude. Mm. But my peeps would be there. You see what I'm saying? Thinking of the girls now, let's talk about the girls. No problem. How's things changed now since the movies are well, starting to blow up? <laughs> <laughs> I can't front, man. I never had it this good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to keep it real. Things have been going very good in that area. I still haven't found myself uh, honing in on just one girl because, mm -hmm. but that's all right because I work really hard and it's hard for young ladies to understand that I don't have the time to spend with them that they might like, mm -hmm. you know. But at the same time, anybody out there you want to say that to personally? <laughs> I'm tempted, brother. I'm tempted. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But uh, you know, uh, to keep it real, I would just say that the young ladies is treating a brother very nice lately. I get a lot of love from them, and it's um, it's all good, man. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody uh, sitting at home, they want to go see Jason's lyrics. Tell them why they should go see Jason's lyrics. Yo, they should go see Jason's lyric because even though it's quote unquote another hood movie, there's something in this one that is different. It's a twist, there's a spin on it. And when I say spin, I mean because they show love between a brother and a sister that are young in the hood and they're both dreamers. Mm. They're both dreamers. And instead of it being scoffed upon or laughed upon or just written off that they dream, it's, it's a good thing. It's like reinforced that they dream. It's a, the movie shows that it's positive to come from an environment that's so bad, but be a dreamer, to dream a way out, to dream your means and your plan of escape, that it's, it's all right to dream and to have faith in your dream. And um, I want people to realize that. Okay. Yeah. Right. What's next for you? Let's see, I got um, Panther coming out, mm -hmm. and I got a cameo in my posse, don't do homework. I got a production company uh, called Chosen Two, which is uh, almost like a script broken <coughs> thing, wherein um, we, uh, we get scripts from uh, unknown writers, and um, we give Jackson McHenry the first crack, the first look at them, and if they dig them and they wanna uh, financially back them, then uh, it'll be Chosen Two and Jackson McHenry presents you know okay. so we trying to get into producing movies me and my best friend for like 14 years James Samuels uh, right. in the background over there you know what I'm saying we business partners he's one half of the chosen two and I'm into my music LTB and then I got uh, I'm gonna be working on the Hughes Brothers next movie in the middle of October mm. and that should be coming out next summer so I'm gonna be pretty busy got your hands full got my hands full all right man. well ain't nothing wrong with that it's, it's like all good Somebody once told me, he said, well, you could be sitting on your projects looking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. all good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Good to see you. Go check out Jason's lyrics. And, True uh, that. Best of luck to you, man. Thanks a lot, bro. All right. Word up. Cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs>